learn these rules that will teach you how to use causative verbs. Hi, I'm Steve, and this is Single Step English. This lesson was suggested by one of my longtime viewers, Sayani. Thank you for this suggestion. And if any of you, my viewers, would like to learn a topic or perhaps you want to learn a phrase, please make a suggestion in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, please click the like button and share this video with other people. All right. This lesson is about causative verbs. What are they? And when do we use them? Causative verbs are used to show one person causing another person to do or help make someone or something happen. The other person caused it to happen. So that is the reason they are called causative verbs. Let's compare these two sentences. The first one is, I will go to the concert. In this sentence, I am the subject because I will do the action. I have made the decision to do this. However, what if I needed permission to go to the concert? Hmm. In that case, we need to change the sentence to the causative verb. For example, we could change it to, my father will let me go to the concert. In this case, I am not the subject. The subject is my father. My father gave me permission to go to the concert. In this sentence, my father is also called the agent. If we go back to the previous sentence, my father will let me go to the concert. Well, my father is the agent. He is the person that initiated this decision or action. In this lesson, we will look at the top five causative verbs. They are let, make, have, get, and help. The important thing to remember is that let, make, and have use the base form of the verb, while get and help use the infinitive verb. I will explain more about this as I show you some sentence examples. All right, let's look at this example. My mother let me use her car. In this example, let is the past tense, and this is our causative verb. My mother gave me permission to use her car. She allowed me to use her car. Thanks, Mom. In this sentence, the subject and agent is my mother, followed by let, which is the base form of the verb. After that, we have me, which is the object, this is the common English grammar pattern of subject, verb, object. And some people will abbreviate this as SVO. Here's another similar example. He let her borrow his phone. He gave her permission. In this sentence, he is the subject or agent followed by the causative verb, let, then comes the object, followed by the main verb, borrow. Let's take a look at the next causative verb. It is made. Here's a sentence for you. She made me do the laundry. In this situation, I did not want to do the laundry but she made me do the laundry. She forced me to do the laundry. So maybe this is a situation where children are talking about their mother, father, or their parents, okay? Uh, my mother made me do my homework. Here's another sentence for you. My 
father made me wash the car. And made me means he forced me. You must wash the car. Causative verbs are usually about people. However, it can also be used to talk about things. For example, the heavy wind made the trees shake. If you want to talk about an animal, maybe you could use this sentence. We let the dog sleep on the sofa. The next causative verb is have or the past tense had. If you are the subject, you could say, I will cut my hair tomorrow. However, most people do not cut their own hair. It's very difficult to cut the back of your hair by yourself. So, in that case, we need to use a causative verb. I will have my hair cut tomorrow. I won't do it. Somebody else will cut my hair. In this situation, we are giving someone else the responsibility to cut our hair. We call this the passive causative, which is often used to talk about a service that we pay for. Take a look at this example. I will have my iPhone repaired. I cannot repair my iPhone by myself, so I will have my iPhone repaired. For both of these sentences, you could substitute have with get. Okay, I will have my iPhone repaired. I will get my iPhone repaired. Either one is perfectly fine. For services, you may hear people use the word done. For example, uh, maybe a woman would get her nails done, gets a manicure and her nails painted. We would say, oh, uh, she had her nails done. Is there anything that you will have done by someone else? Try writing a sentence in the comment section below. The sentence pattern is, I will get my something or I will have my something. Back to the causative verb have. The past tense is had. Here's a common situation in the classroom. The teacher had the students stand up. The agent is the teacher. The class or the object did not have much choice. So in this case, the teacher was giving instructions. The instructions, they're requesting or asking. So therefore, the teacher had the students stand up. Another causative with had, the company had us work overtime. So in this sentence, the agent is, come on, the company had the object, us, the main verb, work overtime. All right, we are on to the causative get. This is used when someone persuades or convinces you to do something. Here is an example. He got me to help with the project. Notice with get or got, we use the infinitive phrase to plus the base form of the verb, okay? He got me to help with the project. Let's try another example using the infinitive phrase. My boss got me to take a programming course. My boss convinced me or persuaded me, you should do this, you really should do this, okay? My boss got me to take a programming course. In this sentence, to take is the infinitive phrase. Let me think of a sentence for me. Hmm. My viewers got me to make more grammar videos. Last, we have the causative verb help. And as you can imagine, 
This is used when someone helped us or aided us. Here's an example. My brother has helped me learn English. Or you could say, my brother has helped me to learn English. So in this case, you can use the base form or the infinitive phrase. Either one is okay. Notice that in this sentence, has helped is the present continuous tense. In this lesson, you learned how to use causative verbs. They are important when we are trying to explain or write about how other people or agents help make things happen. I hope this lesson will help you sound more natural speaking and writing in English. Maybe you could use this causative sentence. Steve made me learn some challenging grammar. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.